said I'd take you out and show you what we did with Lucy. We put her in what used to be a, a pen for our broiler birds and uh, we quit using it because it, it actually collapsed. We had to rebuild it. Um, and it's just too hard to move around. And with the boiled birds, we have to move them a couple times a day because they're messy. So anyway, we've covered it with a uh, shade cloth and it's nice and big for her and her baby and it lets them be pretty close to outside. I'll show you. It's pretty good size. We got shade on it. Todd, <laughs> Todd moved Ginger over here. He said that Lucy was not impressed. She uh, hissed at her a little while. We'll go in and see if we can find the baby. I don't know if we can see him or not. Hi, Lucy. That high pitch is a little bit of stress. Yeah, you can see the baby. He's hanging pretty close to mom. She still has three eggs, but since, yeah, shortly before we moved out here, she wasn't laying on them anymore. So I kind of think that they're, she's done. I hate the fact that he's going to be an only child, but that's okay. He'll have to stay in here for a while because the last time we had turkeys, baby turkeys like that, the owls and the hawks took every one of them. And they were quite a bit bigger than that. So he'll be in here for a while just for his own protection. And here we have the baby chicks. This is what we call a chicken tractor. And this is what we put our new baby chicks in. Usually they're a little bit older than this, but it's been so hot that these guys don't even need heat. But uh, we'll put them out here so we can move them around on grass. We've got wheels on the back that we can put on the back of this. And then we can just pick up the front, front end and move it so it can always be put on fresh grass. So these chicks, there's only three of them in there, so they got tons of space. They got water. And this section here has got three walls to it, so they can get back and get out of the way of weather and wind if they want. So they can be exposed to bugs and grass and sunshine too. They seem to be enjoying the grass. Okay, when we first found those chicken eggs, there was a couple of duck eggs still left on the nest. And we went back out the next day and those duck eggs were gone. Well, chicken eggs under the duck, they were gone. So whatever, probably that snake that got the other ones came back and got the rest. So anyway, that's what's going on with the birds and the turkeys and the baby chicks and everything. And uh, I'll keep you updated as they keep growing. We'll see you later.